All right, welcome back to TCG Love again to another Epilogue Booster box opening. Uh, it's just this box now. Um, the last one that I opened was solid. Not quite as much as the scanner told me, but good enough. I don't know in what order you will see these videos, but I'm just gonna blabber in the order that I open them. So will this box be equally solid? Will we get... Uh, what's with the light? Oh, there we go. Uh, will we get our money back uh, if we sell the expensive cards that are in here? The sellable cards. Any card above one dollar I will try to sell. And I hope... Oh, <laughs> we already got a big hit. And I hope we will make the money back. Uh, I paid 70 bucks for this box. So that's what we aim for. Uh, we got Opnixilis Captive Kingpin. That's already a nice pull. Should be almost 10 bucks. 856. That's great. Adrenaline of Ruins in foil is unfortunately not that valuable. Uh, did I click the foil button? Th uh, 73 cents. I'll put it here. And then uncommons and tokens. Uh, we got two rares in here in the first pack. That's rare. Usually you get one. And we got another nice hit. Denitha, new Benalia Slide. It should be five bucks, I think. One dollar. All right. Maybe I mistook or maybe the price already dropped. Uh, yeah, like these packs. Uh, for now, every single Aftermath product that I opened... Uh, oh, we got filter out. That's uh, uncommon. That's almost a buck in the normal version. No, 43 cents it says. Oh, Kiora, Sovereign of the Deep. We got Mythic after Mythic. This set, 488. Uh, Tranquil Thrillback, another rare. And then foil that should be two bucks probably. 141, not bad. Yeah, like there's a lot of valuable rares to pull here. No big hits, but smaller, more frequent hits. Deification, I don't think is worth anything now. 42 cents. And we got Tazri Stalwart Survivor, also uh, not so valuable rare. So that was the weaker pack. Um, if you want, like after I open them, I will put the total in my Google Sheet in the description. And there you can also check, Plark's unfortunately worth nothing, there you can also check if the prices stay stable, because I plan on updating the Google Sheet, uh, maybe weekly, maybe a little bit more frequent than weekly, because I expect, because of these uh, high, like, because of these many rares and mythics that I pull, that the price will probably crash, we got two faults here. And Nif Mizzet Supreme, unfortunately, Nif Mizzet is worth uh, a few cents, not so much. All right. Uh, Metropolis Reformer is the only rare in here. This should be almost a dollar. And also these packs. Everything goes so fast with these, like, there's so few cards and, oh, filter out in the Booster Fun version. There's so few cards and the wraps rip so fast. It's a really fast opening. $1.62 for Versa from Drifter. Oh. Throw Oh, beautiful foil. I really like this artwork on this one. I pulled a halo foil, it was beautiful. I had to sell it though for a few bucks. Tranquil Frillback is the only rare here, and it's also worth, oh, 52 cents, all right. I think I managed to sell it for a buck before. Uh, Piano Lars, unfortunately, worth nothing, and there's else nothing. Nothing else in this, but we will scan her. Either way. So, Jerina. So, not the most expensive card, but good enough. 
So guys, do you, uh, tell me, do you open these? Do you also uh, have the same experience as me with the value of them? Because um, I think not many people even open them because they're probably mad at the product and I still understand why. And I was also mad at the beginning and to a certain extent I'm still disappointed that we got uh, a small set like this separate from the main set because I think all these cards could easily be part of the main set and at least they could have infused some value in the main set because I lost a lot of money on that one. Rocco Street Chef. And Kenra's Funeral, also worth nothing, not even the foil one. Oops. Uh, open the way is the only way here. Also sellable, but not too much. 53 cents. I think the scanner, I don't know why, I didn't change the settings, but it tells me less than I. Uh, Less than I usually get. Tazri is worth nothing though. Maybe the card's already dropping in value. I have to open them quickly all at once in the first few days. If I don't want to lose. Oh, Training Grounds is a great pull. Uh, and Nahiri's Resolve should be also solid, I think. Let's, let's get Training Grounds first. Seven bucks. That's great. Nahiri's Resolve. One dollar. All right. The rest is uncommon. Um, drain, drain of ruins. And I also have to say, there's only 50 cards in here, right? Uh, at first I had a lot of fun opening them, I had a blast, but now we get just the same cards over and over and over again. And uh, fewer products would have done the trick for me as well. Yara, one dollar, good enough. Spark rupture, worth nothing, unfortunately. So we get more of value and less cards than usual in here. Usually I get like two, three cards that are worth nothing. But now the pile that was worth nothing is higher than the Worth wild cards, 38 cents. Well, Nashi, Oops. oh, Nahiri Fortune and Fury should be not too bad. Five bucks, maybe 434. I'm not sure if we are close to 70. Oh, now we are. Now we are. Nissa Resurgent Animist, the most expensive card, I think. Should be still more than 20 bucks. 13 the scanner says, but I think I sold for 20. Filter out. Oh, we already scanned this one, but I'll put it here for now. Because filter out usually sells as well. Uh, at a decent price. More than a buck, I think, for the booster fun version. Orbox scavengers, awesome. Uh, pretty nice, not too bad. 157. And the last pack, will we hit something big or not? And do we get 70 bucks? Uh, it doesn't look... Canvas Funeral and Booster Fun. First time I see that, I think. Twice Canvas Funeral. That's what you get if you have only 50 cards. Uh, 43 for this one, and this one is also worth nothing. Alright, 33. And that was the last pack. Let's see what the scanner tells me. 50, so epilogue 2, 59.84. That is less than 70. That's the first time I lose out on a product. I don't mind so much because the other ones went so great. But I don't know if that means that the price is already dropping because it shouldn't be too long after pre-release, like pre-release weekend was two days ago, Saturday for me, now it's Monday for me. Um, I don't think the price has dropped so, so, so much, I think I only got unlucky here. But 
they might be dropping for you uh, when you watch this video already. So check my Google Sheet, there uh, you will have more recent numbers. How much would this box be worth if I opened it at the day you watch this video? That's what I will put in the Google Sheet. And I'm interested myself how the prices will change with this set. And I probably will do this also for future sets the same way because it seems to work for me out like that. Uh, it seems like I can uh, sustain all the products for this YouTube channel uh, like this. So let's hope the best. Uh, thank you for watching. That's already it. Uh, it was 11 minutes. Wow, for a, bo for a box. That was fast. Uh, if you like it, if you like these videos, subscribe. I will open a lot of the rings as well and do the same there. Uh, check the value, track the value. Um, that's gonna be interesting and because that's a very expensive set I probably have to drop probably 5k uh, for all the products let's see if I can scratch that amount somewhere together either way um, I would appreciate a subscription a like comment uh, all the nice stuff and see you in the next video peace out